here we go with Pisceans. Oh dear. I know a few Pisceans, but we won't go into that. Welcome, Pisces, to your Tarology Overview for the week beginning Monday the 26th of July. This card wanted to come out. <laughs> I'm doing the card first. That's a bit of a change. This is the Knight of Cups. It's the card of Mercury, but it does represent a water sign young man. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio man who, Pisces, you're going to be have some sort of dealing with they're bringing a message, an opportunity, or something that could be quite thrilling into the pattern of your life. So be ready for it. Now, let me tell you about when something presents on your pathway. Sometimes you'll say, oh, I know this is for me straight away. And sometimes you'll say, oh, I don't think that's for me. And sometimes you'll say, no. I'm going to say, don't do any of those things. Give yourself time. Think about it. Don't answer immediately because there's an energy here that you should, that you could be a little tested this week. So don't commit to something because you can be quite loyal at most times. And don't commit to something or don't say no to something. And the other side of it is that you don't look like to look like a fool. You've come back and said, oh, could I do it now? So don't say yes or no. So, oh, looks like a good idea. But let me think about this and I'll get back to you. And when you do that, you start to own your power, your own self-esteem and self-worth inside of yourself. Now, for most of you, it's been ha hard work. You've been hard at work on your inner selves and you will shine this week. The, the more cynical of you, though, will have a lot of difficulty with this aspect. So the positives... Let me just start that again. Most of you have been hard at work on your inner selves this week. Now, the more positive of you will shine this week. The more cynical of you, though, will have a lot of difficulty with this aspect of the sun in the sixth house, trine Jupiter in the second house of your personal resources. Let me tell you, there is financial gain here, but your attitude may undermine it. So you be very careful and be very gentle with yourself and be bloody well grateful as well. Bring up your self-esteem. Remember what was said at the beginning. Use the technique or therapy to heal yourselves. If you're honest with yourself, you will see which area needs the most work and that's where you will focus. Darlings, try not to be too rigid. Look, in every star sign's personality structure, there is a rigidity. But we have to bring that through so that we flow. There's a lot of growth and luck this week for you, Pisces. It's not an easy ride, however. So, take it easy, follow the prompts, and however big or small it will be, it will be good. And even the difficult bits, they too shall pass. It will get better. It starts with the messenger. Let's see where she ends with you being in the upper position. So you will listen, you will take the prompts and you will do the work that's necessary and you'll stand tall and grow and be above any adversary that comes in. I'm just going to say hallelujah to that. This is the card of strength, darling, inner strength. This card, in the higher arcana card, the card of strength, is the Leo card. This means that you will be dealing with this week Leos, males or females, doesn't matter, either or. Work with them. Make the most of them. Don't take advantage 
win-win is the energy. Of course, we're in Leo time. So there's Leo time, Leo people, and the sun helps us all to change and shine and grow. Love is the beginning. Love will be the ending. Bye now.